Should Know Podcast, episode 107. Round of applause, please. That's what I like. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 107. If you are new here, if you haven't already, look below, you see the subscribe button isn't pressed. You're wrong. If you look even more below that and you see the comment section isn't fulfilled with your name, guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. We're trying to get to 1 million subscribers by the end of 2024, and I believe we can do it. We have the best fan base in the entire world. That Discord on Mondays is popping in that watch party. It's popping all the time, 24-7. Join that Discord. We have the best Patreon in the world. Shout out to all the Koala Club members. We have the best merch buyers in the world. Shout out to everybody that copped the merch on the original drop. But we have an announcement for you out right now. We have released more sizes in the new merch and t-shirts. We have 2XL to 4XL available right now. And in the hoodies, we have 2XL to 5XL available right now. Click the top of the bio right now. It's the first link in the bio. Go and click that 2XL to 4XL, 2XL to 5XL. We love you so, so, so much. Now on to the rest of the episode. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Manscaped. Did you know one man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? In fact, testicular cancer is the most common form of cancer amongst men aged 15 to 35. With April being National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, our friends over at Manscaped have partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to help spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Visit manscaped.com TCS to learn how to check yourself for early signs of cancer. And as always, you can use promo code PSH for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Great cause, great products. With that in mind, you can perform simple routine self-checks at home while Mm. enjoying Manscaped products you use every single day. That's important. Like the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. Nice. It makes sense, right? Yep. We use these products daily to trim, maintain our boys down there. We Might do. as well give it a little self-check while check, you're Check, make there. sure you're good. Make sure everything's all right downstairs. Make sure everything's good. With dual LED spotlights, you'll achieve better visibility, mm. making every single trim more precise and hassle-free. Yeah. Don't like making a mess? Don't worry. This thing's waterproof. Take it right in the shower with you, hop in there, clean your giblets, shave them up, right down the drain. In addition to providing the right tools and solutions for comfortable and easy grooming, Manscaped is committed to raising awareness and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer. That is why they will be donating $50,000 to the Testicular Cancer Society. Round of applause for Manscaped. Help save lives and balls by going to manscaped.com slash TCS and sharing their funny educational check yourself video. And while you're at it, grab 20% off plus free shipping with code PSH because like a famous American philosopher once said, take care of your mentals, your balls, and your chickens. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. We got co-host Cam Back in the studio. That's a, that's a booty. Big. Oh, 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 oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, Cameron. I like the way you look today. Let's rewind six seconds. Don't call me Cameron. Cameron. That's the only time it's acceptable to use my full government when you when it's not my real. Whenever government. it's with a W. When it's a, an alias. Yeah. <laughs> Camwin. Okay, but did you say you negated my my compliment towards you? I didn't mean to. Thank you. You said what? Do you like the way I look? You like it? Oh, it's not your outfit. Oh. It was more of your 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 face. You got you got the haircut. I you look so a good. Shout out, shout out, Brooks. Ooh. The boy got me right. Woo! I, I finally crossed crossed the little bridge. Came over to Brooks. You know, it was, it was smooth. It I, good. I'd lick your neck. And I'm not gonna lie, I'd lick yours back. He said I'm, I have. It's my potential favorite. to have a better beard than you. I'm just going to throw that out there. He's it's not degrading your beard. I'm just saying what the wizard himself said. Because that's what you do. No. You you are you he said that. You look you will always look better than me. You are a, you are Christopher oh Columbus. Oh. You are an infiltrator in oh, it. Oh my god, what do you mean by that? You are Christopher Wait, Columbus. <laughs> yes. You come into my relationships that I have outside of you and then you try to take over. You're like this is my land this and you try to take land. it over. This is, my, this is now our bar. You put disease you better, in my relationships. You have a better connection? You have the better connection. I have the better beard. I'm just kidding. Your beard is definitely better. He just he said long story short, he said, "Oh, I'm really good with beards. I I have this thing with them." Here in about a year, I could definitely see yours being full better than Peyton's. Word for word. You want to know why? Because he knows he has me. <laughs> he has. Oh my! F- what the hell was that? I, to, I went to church. 
Uh, it sounds like you went to an opposite church. Sound like a demon. That was. <laughs> but what I was <laughs> what I was saying is is because I already have he has he knows he has me as clientele. He knows he has my undying loyalty, and he knows that you are currently cheating on your hair person. <laughs> First, <laughs> and he's trying to get barber. you. Barber. Yo, yo, can there's, I? There's no cheating. It, it's, it's, it's done. Can I? We broke up. It's day. Did done. you tell him? No. Uh, That's a cheat. You see this? It's this is. It's a sick way to tell you. I'm not gonna lie. That's a sick way to break up with you. We're through. Okay. And okay, oh, but hurts. it's not that, that bad. Me. Cam got his haircut in Ulta. Cam used to get his haircuts in Ulta. Dog, that's where makeup is sold. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is that factually accurate? Yes. However, beautiful thing about stories, context. Did I get, let's just, let's break it down. You went to a makeup store to get a lineup. That's what you did. That's the end of the story. I went to a woman who sells concealer on a daily basis to give me a fade. Did I get my haircut in an Ulta? Yes. Did it happen multiple times for about an eight month stretch? Yes. However, I, this was in, this was when we were in uh, Juco, very small place. She originally worked at a local barbershop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I liked her work. I liked I liked what she did to my skull. Yeah. Okay, she moved to an Ulta. She said, "Come get my haircut here." I said, "Like the back alley? What are we talking about? About the trash can?" <laughs> she goes, "No, no. This is a mega Ulta. It has the whole salon in the store. It's not good. It's not like I was getting cut up in the damn bum bum cream <laughs> section. I was getting a fade in a seat in front of a mirror with a barber box. Everything. She did a good job. Shout out you. Forgot your name." <laughs> <laughs> so obviously it wasn't that good. Well, you know ago, Brooks's name. Wasn't the best cut. I know Brooks. I'll never forget Brooks' name. He did wonders to me. Okay, but <sighs> I want to bring up our relationship because that's a consistent topic I want to talk about on the podcast every single week where we're at. Do you want to marry me? 100%. I've been thinking of different ways. I've hired Hitman for live. I've... <gasps> the six seconds. She does not give a shit. Oh my gosh, she didn't even hear I, I, I'm saying I, 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 I want to marry Cam. I, 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 I really want to. He said he's hired a hitman to take you out. Because, okay, I've, 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 you know, I've been on the dark web. I've, I've browsed a couple of things, but like, how can I get her out of here without anybody knowing? Ooh. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. If, if Liv, my wife of almost two years now, died. Good God. I, I would. I would yeah. You would marry me? I'd be pretty sad and I'd probably just like lean into your lap and like fall. I'd fall into your arms. Oh. But not in, a, in not that way. I'd be very sad. You would want me to caress your skull. Okay, and okay, so, well, so I love you, babe. Don't die on me, please. You've been very mean to me recently. That's not true. Right to the point where true. I start to reconsider our relationship. That's not true. Would you go to relationship counseling with me <laughs> as two best friends? Would you? Would, would how would that go? <laughs> would you do that with me? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God! What? Oh, would I? But oh, is there a caveat? What? Spell caveat. He's, There's no need. <laughs> Good morning. I would absolutely go with you. Okay. Put your hand out. I'm gonna say it before I shake it. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna swindle uh, you. Okay. Put your hand out. Yeah. I will go with you, if, if, you, Peyton, Stefan, Good Fade, Harden, tell the God's honest, oh, the honest truth. Okay. What's the honest about truth? Every okay, second. shake. But what's the honest truth? You treat me like a. F rug you walk all over me you spit on me you 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 verbally accost you me. like you claim it's a form of love but god it makes me feel small and sad you like my dominance you like when i dominate you no i do not like <laughs> when you i don't like when you dominate me jesus you don't it doesn't no you're like oh thanks okay god's honest truth yeah no imagine there's no lights no cameras okay have i not opened up to you multiple times about the way you love me that sounds wicked. <laughs> About the way you, you show want your love toward me. No, stop. I like it. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, have I not? Honestly. Yeah. Even though I, even though I, I, uh, I, I allude to it as a joke, but it's but the, the only thing I, you say, and you only bring it up on camera. You know what? Let, let's just give him an example. Let's, let's do a relationship counseling right now. Okay, but let's give him an example okay. first. Let's do it. So we're on the phone. All right, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll call you later tonight. Uh, we'll we'll lock in the times for tomorrow. Sound good? All right, bitch. <laughs> hey, bro. Why like why do you why do you gotta do that? What do you mean? I know you say that's the way of that's your way of loving me, but like why can't you just be like, all right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Uh, I love you. All right. <laughs> oh my God, that's it. That's it. That's it. What do you want me to do, Cam? Do you want me to buy you dozens of roses every day? That's I don't like not flowers. how you don't. I don't like flowers. I bought myself flowers the other day. They're rotting in my kitchen right now because I didn't know the water stinks if you leave it too long. It smells like a barnyard in there. Your disposal doesn't even work. I got it fixed. What did you? Yeah, but my toilet's clogged in my kitchen. 
And it, for about four that days now, insane, four Cindy. days. If no one know, if no one's seen your layout, my toilet's clogged <laughs> in my kitchen. That's a. You're living in Shrek's shack. If you have a toilet in your kitchen, I, I do have a toilet in my kitchen. You, you have a bathroom in the living room that is close to the kitchen. It's, it's closer trying, to I'm the. I'm trying to save you. I don't. Know, I don't care what people think about me. You're like, yeah, I got a piss pot right next to the the. <laughs> the stove <laughs> a piss pot is funny but you want to know what i would say in our relationship therapy yes like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's go i i'm beginning to have trust issues with you oh <laughs> you hurt my heart you hurt mine <laughs> you know why okay, so. because the other day okay you weren't answering my phone calls you always answer my phone calls what day was this i, need, I don't remember i, I don't remember i don't remember we're already on a slippery slope <laughs> i I was trying to call you and you weren't responding. I texted you three times in a row. You didn't respond. It didn't even say red. So my, I care about my boy. I care about my, my boo-boo. Okay. I care about my that one. Okay, yes. And so I wanted to check if you were okay. So I went to our messages and I checked your location. I didn't even know you had my location. I didn't even know you had it. I've had it forever. I've had it forever. You turned it off. Why did you turn your location off? Okay. If you think I turned my location off, on a random whatever day this when have I ever turned my location off? That's what I'm asking you. You think I'm cheating on you and I'm out in the streets? What are you doing? What else would you need to turn off your location for? My phone was probably dead. It wasn't because you called me right after that. And, and then, I, then I must have went through a security system upgrade. And I can check your location I, right now I, and it's going to say no location found. Watch this. Cam Cam Wonder Boy. Cam locating, 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 locating. No Cam win. And we're right here. You don't have. You have another guy. <laughs> no, I don't have another guy. What's going on? You're my guy. I guess my location services. Oh my god, I think that is it. Mm. I think I turned off my location services. So Liv doesn't have your location. No, it said you had to go through Find My. I did the same thing. No, that's not exactly. Cam's always cheating forever. To Time out. You thought I was cheating too? <laughs> Cam, you're a cheater. That's what, what the, the hell are y'all doing? <laughs> you're a cheater. I was probably sitting right next to you, playing with my belly button, probably thinking of you. Both of y'all at the same time. So everyone thinks I'm cheating. Yes, you're okay. So, okay. So why don't you go through the extra? You know I have trust issues. You know I have reassurance problems. I don't even Shut know. Shut up. Why don't you take the time to make me comfortable, to make me feel secure in our relationship? You know it means a lot to me. What would the therapist said if you, if you would have got to that octave in front of a licensed therapist? He likes when I dominate. <laughs> what if she would have said, hey, we're, we're, we're. Oh, I thought you were going to say, well, she said me too. <laughs> If if we went to a therapist for the first time, she's already giving you winks and stuff. And be like, God, it's a crook. It's a crook therapist. That's a fake badge. He's paying her under the table. I said, I'm in a setup. I'm in a movie. No, I just thought about kissing you, but just to make ourselves. But I, I I would never in public. If you asked for it, like you're at a bad day, funeral. I'd, if I I'd actually kiss you. asked you for a kiss. There's a small percentage of me that, th that thinks you'd go through it. I would make uncomfortable eye contact with you for a while until I knew it's what you really wanted. And I'd be like, if that, Matter of fact, okay, anything for okay, the boys. Okay, let's role play. Here we go. I like that. I have a horrible day. Me and Liv get in the biggest argument. Okay. I lose a lot of, uh, I don't know. You I, don't need her. Come home. Ruby Lee. <laughs> Come home is crazy. Come home is crazy. All right, I get in a big argument with her. Ruby shits on the floor and I, I lose $10,000. Okay, worst day of my life, right? It's too soon. It's too recent. It's 11. It was 11. It's 11 gone. It's in New York. It's gone. That guy got Balenciaga everything. He owns that. You never got that back. Here we go. Sorry. I never even got an email from him. I never got an email. Okay. Regardless, say I have the worst day. I come to you, right? Yes. Come home. That's sick. We're sitting there. I'm talking. I go, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, because we would never actually do this, but say I did. Yeah. Say I go, bro, I just, I need a kiss. Like, I need a, a pick-me-up kiss. Mm-hmm. Like, honest to God, what do you do? What I, do you say in that moment? Do we have an intervention? Do you, do you? No, I honestly, I giggle first. Like I get a little giddy because I'm like, well, wow, that's out of nowhere. And then I would make uncomfortable amount of eye contact with you. And if you didn't break it, I knew you meant it. Okay, say at that point, I'm, I'm getting the eye contact. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, shit, he's actually going to kiss me. I was, trying to, I was trying to joke and lighten the air. And then I go, you know what? I'm good. But what if you keep coming on? Oh, no, I wouldn't do that. I'm not a creep. If you don't want it, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> if you don't want it, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> what?
This is just an insane conversation. Why do we do this? Okay, but I'm bringing that up because I remember the story. I kissed a guy on a basketball court in the middle of a game in high school on accident. And it's haunted me ever since this day. It was a sold out arena against our rival. Kissed him right in the mouth. <laughs> Please elaborate. Please share this with us. It, so it was an accident. It was, I, I, I hope. So it was a high school game. It was against our biggest our rival. And we've been, me, us, our schools have been rivals for like a decade. You kissed your arch nemesis on the lips <laughs> on in, in front of 2,000 people. It was, it was a fast break. That takes skill to kiss someone on a fast break. You're like, oh my God. You were running by and you wanted that extra dunk. You, you threw him off guard. He said, yo, and you dunked it. That's no, sick. no, no. So it was packed in there. I have mass anxiety. It like sold out, like standing room only. I've never played in a high school environment like this. College coaches everywhere. So I, everybody's energy was like on 10. You know, it's like that scrappy basketball. Where everybody's flying around. Bumping into each other. We were like we were like pinball machines. You know what I mean? We were, we were everywhere And so I remember we were all jumbled up in the lane And we were both looking opposite directions and we didn't know we were this close to each other And we just turned around and bumped foreheads and kissed and then I heard somebody in the crowd go. Oh, no, what the f they go, oh hell no, nah. number 12 crazy and then he the dude then makes it you, you took off your goggles and <laughs> And the dude I smooched, he makes a scene about it because he was embarrassed. He goes, oh, come on, dog, don't do that. Acting like I was the perpetrator. It's like, we're 50-50. I, I, I said, you meant that as much as I did. I, I don't know. I think you had a, I think you had an ulterior motive. No, I swear. He, nice lips. <laughs> okay. oh. Everyone else is throwing bows, grabbing jerseys. You go, oh, f it. <laughs> you just kiss the bastard, and you run back to get a dunk. That is sick. Yeah, no, it was bad. The you Should Know Podcast. This episode of the You Should Know Podcast is brought to you by Electric E-Bikes. Do you remember riding a bike as a kid, Cam? God, it was so it was fun. The freedom, the freedom. I just, I felt like a, just a man. You know I what I mean? 12 years, every bit of 12. Hey, just man. You just meet up with all your friends on that bicycle. I wish I could get those moments back. Oh, but you can. We have recently because Electric E-Bike sent us over one of their amazing E-Bikes and me and Cam have been using this thing non-stop. We've been riding it like kids again. It's so much fun. This spring, get out there and enjoy the weather and recapture the magic of riding a bike with Electric E-Bike with an amazing variety of models built for riders of all abilities. It's never been easier to fall in love with riding again. Plus, every Electric E-Bike ships free and only requires quick toolless assembly. Y'all saw me do it on Twitch. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, Pete. Now that that we've rode the bike multiple times really got good grips on it yep. right really good grip right on the haunches how comfy is it it's it's surprisingly it's comfy. scary how like it immediately just formed just molds to your little tush yeah so comfy i could ride it for hours and it is so fun it's, that's the main thing it's, it's fun unreal. and comfortable i've been riding around my neighborhood and everybody's like what is that thing electric e-bike enjoy up to 150 miles on one charge with electric's unbeatable long range options there's financing as low as $49 per month, plus savings on gas, parking, and maintenance. Anyone can ride with a variety of models designed to be a better mode of transportation for all riders. They have the XP Lite, zippy, affordable, great way to start a bike journey. And they got the Expedition, sturdy and versatile cargo e-bike that can hold up to 450 pounds, Camwin. Good God. They also have the XP Trike, the first fully foldable, fully assembled electric tricycle with enough torque for hefty payloads. Getting started with e-bike adventures is easier than ever. It ships free, has quick toolless assembly, and is foldable for easy travel and storage. Same safety regulations and road access as regular bikes. Go full throttle this spring with electric e-bikes, the number one selling e-bikes in the nation. In most states, license, registration, and inspection are not required, but always check laws in your area. Go full throttle into spring with electric e-bikes, the number one selling e-bikes in the entire nation. Get your adventure started at electricebikes.com and please mention that You Should Know podcast sent you in the post checkout survey. That is L-E-C-T T-R-I-C-E bikes.com. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. That is, oh my God. Spe no, sp okay. Speak complete turn. Okay. Speaking of things that you just thought of, okay, me and Liv are having a conversation and I said an expression that I've always hated and it made me, it made me ponder. What's your ponder? There's a lot of expressions that don't make sense. Verb I hate. <laughs> Wait, verbal expressions like facial expressions? Verbal, like like little quick sayings. <laughs> okay, give me some. Go break a leg. What the f 
Why, why do you want me to injure myself? I've always hated that. What is the, like, go break a leg. What if it's, go do a good job. Go be your best. Why am I breaking my leg? Go injure yourself. Yeah, that, no. but the one that I said, and I, I caught myself, I, it was like a moment I was icky. I caught myself saying it, and okay. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah, yeah. I was driving, I go, that'll stick out like a sore thumb. Who am I? That's the oldest, <laughs> whitest thing I could possibly- You, you are a goat of, of the whites Bro. sayings. You, you, you'll let a couple rip. I, I, I wrote down, there's two more. Okay, I, give I me some. I wrote these down. And I, I need to hear if you have any expressions that you've always like, always hated. Another one, oh my God, it's raining cats and dogs. What the, the who made that? It has never rained an animal. Beasts have never fallen from the sky. It rains rain, and that's it. I don't care how hard it's raining, it's, it's still raining. It that is a good point. Who, like that, no rain has ever sounded like meow, ever. No rain has meowed on my window. Seat, well, I'm trying ever. to think of where it would go. I think I-, I like, No, seriously, who made that? I, I read one time where the break a leg came from. It's because it's, it's a theater thing and you're a part of the cast. Break a leg, you're in the cast. I think that's where it came from. <laughs> I think that's where it came from. What about cats and dogs? What that dumb one, ass made that? That's called <laughs> That's called Yeah, that's, that's called, called drugs. That's called a drug. <laughs> that's called you were out of your mind. Okay. Give my, me some. Give me some. My last one. I lied. There's two more. Okay. I had five total. I thought it was four. Okay. ADHD. Good morning. Something. Here we go. <laughs> the proof is in the pudding. I don't even like pudding. Why is the pr you like pudding? I'm a pudding bandit. Put I will eat a vanilla pudding. Once every quarter decade. Oh my God. Once every three years around that. What's that pudding with the red lid on it? The red little, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, the you one got, that comes in a six pack for a buck? Oh my God, but snack, snack some, right? You get that pudding, you open that up and it's like that nice little coat on top. It's like a little fluffy. I, Dude, that's, that's my, but that's my thing with pudding. Mm, when I, I oh scoop that with my tongue, I got a, I got a, I got a tongue spoon. See, when I, if I tongue spoon that, I'd be gagging. Really? Pudding You're not a pudding? It gags me. Really? It literally gags me. That's all I am with cheese. I used to love Jello. I used to be able to just mm. on Jello. Do it again. Wild. Discord. That was, that was, that was wild. But <laughs> now Jello pudding, they're all off limits. I That's so it. strange I, to me. I can't do it. Because you eat like an old person. You eat McAllister's. Yeah, hey, jalapeno, the, the jalapeno turkey thingy. Oh. oh my God. Okay, keep going. What's Last another one? one? Last one. Beat around the bush. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, but it doesn't. It does make sense. No, no, no. It makes sense because we're used to it. I want you to imagine a blank canvas. Yeah. There's a bush yeah. and someone's just going, yeah. just beating and walking around it. How does that translate to you're not you're not saying it exactly how you? I think whenever you're I think they get it from uh, carpenters. Whenever they're what's it called landscapers? Landscape. Landscapers. When landscapers they're being around the bush. Get into the bush. Get those get those twigs. First off, you don't chop in the bush. I've never you, done you, that. You break the bush down. Bush. You break the bush down. <laughs> break the bush down. <laughs> Man, do you have any? Do you have any expressions? No, but that I you hate. I always try to make expressions. Oh my god, that's one of my biggest flaws. I hate it. Oh you try god, making that's, expressions? That's one thing I I I genuinely wish I could just get rid of myself. Oh no, God, that's not a dark no, no, no. Get rid of that trait. Out of myself. yourself. Yes. Okay, Holy yeah, hell. good God, we need you here. That was bad. I Wait, know, thank okay. You, thank you, love you. You don't like that you make your own expressions. You don't like being original. Dude, I do it all the time, but they don't make sense. That's it's the like, point, though. It's that's like I'm fun. I'm trying to sound at a higher level than I am, and it's always bad. I actually thought of one the other day. It's tougher than alligator piss. Tell me that wouldn't catch on in, in a school function. My grandfather said, uh, "Stronger than dog breath." Stronger than dog breath makes sense. Tougher than alligator piss. Say that. But the piss isn't tough. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's hard. Tougher, it's still urine. It's liquid. Tougher than alligator piss. That's tougher than alligator piss. Yeah. Boy, that's stronger than a garlic smoothie. That's fire. I like that. Okay, but that makes sense. Good. That that does. Alligator piss does, and I love you, and I know you were trying to relate with me, but it doesn't work. Like, whenever I talk about you to strangers, I'm like, he could suck a, a, a baseball through a straw. Like, that's a good expression that I use for you. <laughs> you can suck peanut butter through a straw, boy. That's not, that's Cameron Kennedy. You can suck a golf ball through a guard nose. <laughs> That'd be <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I I don't know why I, I'm not doing it for that. I was like actually trying to suck a golf ball through a guard nose. Man, 
That's bad. I, there's. So, I, I had to say that because I, I wrote it down and everything. I'm sorry, but I. I no, I'm it. glad you brought that up because that is strange. Why they don't make sense? If you're in the comments right now, can you Google that and like, put all the like, answers to these? Thin the air out for me, please, because that they literally don't. It's like my. I think the biggest flaw I have with that is why did it stick? Think about it. A random guy when there's like it's raining cats and dogs. You did think of that. And like, now, and how did it Earth, catch? Now Earth is just like it's raining cats. And it's dogs. like the old Spanish trail. Like the old following. Spanish trail, whenever they were on the campfire, the old Spanish trail, we talked about this like a year ago, the old Spanish trail, and they come up with stories and they come up with expressions and it just kind of goes on. You know what I mean? Yeah. Old Spanish trails. Yeah. But people, people do concern me. Like people that think or like say those type of things, they do concern me. Yeah. A lot of people concern me, like a woman that I saw the other day. You know, people walk their dogs, right? People are big dog lovers. I think some people love their dogs way too much. I love Ruby. Way too, like, you You have a good relate. And actually, no, you're a little creep. You're a little dommer esque with her. You like to feel her rib cage and her blood vessels. I like to scratch <laughs> her little belly. It's this big. Okay, but people are extra strange with their animals. First 100%. of all, stop posting pictures of you putting your dog down. That's the first thing I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah. Like, I know you love that mother. No you had years of alive pictures with them. Stop posting you're putting them down. No one, yeah, don't show me you feeding its Hershey kiss on its last breath. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see <laughs> that. No one wants to see that. Show me a picture when it was a puppy. But it, this is exactly what I'm talking about. I was driving past an apartment complex, right? Okay. Woman was taking her dog out to go poop. Normal thing. She had Easy. the she had Every the baggie day. in her hand, a responsible oh owner. God. She was gonna pick I was like, she's gonna pick that dog poop off that grass so no one steps in that dog poop. I've stepped I stepped on a lot of foreign dog poop it's in my so life, much. and it's the worst thing in my life. I just wanna beat it somewhere. Exactly. Else. This woman, I was watching her. The dog was pooping. I love watching dogs do regular functions. I wouldn't say that too loud again. That's that's weird. That is. I don't a, like watching them poop, but look I like, at I like watching poop leave a dog's but little you nice. They're ass. all hunched and nasty. They do, they always go like, they're like that's, I hate bro. And Ruby, they're like, Ruby's they're like, is so yeah. Ruby literally goes, <laughs> and it oh oh my god, Ruby. If she has to poop bad, yeah. and like it's it's like a a, a hard poop mm -hmm. or like a wide too big for her butthole, she yeah. has to go like this. She goes. <laughs> oh, she'll open it up. I do that. You never okay. You never are pooping, right? You're a beast. And I don't want to bring poop talk in every episode, it's but it's it's us. It's poop talk. Good morning. We're 20 minutes in. It's poop talk. You ever like you having a one of them that's just brewing in the pot, and it's oh, like yeah. this one, like come on, dog, I'm trying to get up. My legs are numb. I've ran out of TikToks. You know what I mean? Get get me up, <laughs> get me up out of here for the rest I of my day. Go. Yeah. You ever and then you get a little. A <laughs> what are you doing? You get a little sweaty ass syndrome on the pot, and where it's, your cheek is sticking on the pot. Uh -huh. and you you and you use that to your advantage, and you stick that left cheek on that left side of the pot, and you just shift a little bit, so you're open now. You you almost get chap lip syndrome. You almost get a ripped <laughs> lip. You know what I mean? It's almost like you got a piercing. You whenever you wipe, you oh. might get a little extraterrestrial blood. <laughs> I have. Extraterrestrial blood. You're gonna get shit blood on there. Okay, okay, yes. I'm saying this to bring up my point of the dog. What Please I saw. Do. Please I was do. thinking this woman was gonna be a responsible dog owner, pick up the poop off the grass. She goes under the dog while it's shitting with the doggy bag and is catching her dog shit in her hand. That's kind of smart. I'm kind of that is the sickest shit I've ever heard in my life. Please, God, tell me she had the doggy bag on. No, she had the doggy bag on. Oh, but regardless, I have never loved an animal that, that much. Oh, never, never. Let it fall to earth. <laughs> yeah, Ruby, Ruby drags her butt on the carpet, and I'm like, hey, stop that. Yeah, oh, I don't hit the dog. No, we I'm don't like, do that. I'm like, hey, stop that. Clap, bro. That come um, out, big dog, little dog, small, medium breed? dog, like a uh, like a like, like a, a max, like a dash hound. Those are small. What's the dog? Dash hound's a weenie dog. What's the what's the target dog? Oh God. Is that a pit bull? A little weird. With the long face, <laughs> yeah, one of those. It's a, it was, yeah, it was a weird little dog, but it was medium size and it was hunched. And she was grabbing tail. Oh, this, oh this? She, she was grabbing tail with the bag, catching it. That dog was like, Thanks, mom. She grabbed tail. I had 911 pulled up on my phone, <laughs> and I was like, This woman doesn't belong in, 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 in free society, society. In society, I, I, would, I would be comfortable putting some of my own hard earned money on the fact that she tongues that dog. She kisses that dog in the mouth. You do that to your dog, though. No, I do not. Yes, you do. You put Ruby's no, whole snoot in your no, mouth. I've seen it with both That's my eyes. to be funny, and it's I don't funny, actually it's weird. do it. I don't actually do it. I've done it a couple times to be funny with you. I go, look, Ruby, what if we did this? And I take a breath. Golly! Cam, you know what? No, that woman, like, goes to sleep. Her dog sleeps next to her, and she mm. literally goes, oh. Oh, okay. I'm yeah, stop. That's stop. what that's what that one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're that comfortable in open doing that, what do you? What is her home like? This does matter as well. What? Was it a boy or a girl dog? 
Oh, I didn't check his genitalia. <laughs> you didn't see a pecker? Oh, I didn't see anything. I was just, I was more concerned of the woman catching dog feces in her hand. Is it better? Holding if, the tail. Is it better if the dog mom is doing that for a girl dog or a boy dog? Boy dog's weird to me. Boy, that's weird. I don't think it matters. I think it's an animal. The, the fact that you're catching be, animal poop no, for no reason. No. What is the point of that? No, literally, let it touch and then pick it up. I don't think gen gender matters on that. That's so strange. If Andrew it's a girl Tate. dog, it's a little, it's not as weird for me. I'm not going to lie. If she's doing it to a boy, I think that dog, that dog and her are in love. If she does it to a boy dog, I think they're in love. What is the weirdest thing you've seen somebody do with their animal? Do people like animals too much? Uh, I mean, most uncomfortable, not weirdest, but most yeah. uncomfortable, I've seen someone literally pick up their lab and sling him in a pool. Like That's just, strange. Just That's sad. That is sad. I'm like, talking about cra like weird, like cringy, not but what, illegal. It was, it, was, it was to get him to swim and like... And to swim back, he was practicing, but I'm talking, <laughs> I have a, I have a story about a dog that I can't say on the internet, but I'll tell y'all after. Please do. It, this guy is Dexter. Like, you remember the story of almost, Old Yeller? I almost don't even want to know. Uh, you don't, but I'll tell you after. Uh, yeah, I mean, lives, lives Ant's dog wears a diaper 24-7. That's fine. If the dog no, has not. bowel problems. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, the, she just wants that to be a baby? Literally has it in a diaper. He has six interchangeable diapers. See, it's like, take him outside. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at BetterHelp. P, I got a question. I have an answer. How is your social battery right now? Uh, I'd say it drains low pretty quick. It drains low pretty quick. Really you, you, quick. You need a recharge or something? Sometimes. You know what can help with that? Tell me. BetterHelp. Hmm. There's this misconception that therapy is only for people that have that have dealt with a ton of, of trauma, trauma yeah, ton yeah. of hardships. Yeah. Therapy is an amazing, useful tool for every single person. Yeah, I think the brain, like a muscle, you should exercise it. And therapy, especially with BetterHelp, is the right way to exercise that muscle. 100%. Therapy can give you self-awareness to build a social life that doesn't drain your battery. I've actually been getting a lot of DMs from fans of the You Should Know podcast that have been using BetterHelp after hearing this ad read. Yes. And hearing their testimonies, it's amazing. And, Beautiful. And the great thing about about BetterHelp is it's entirely online. It's designated to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your needs. You, all you got to do, just fill out this brief little question there and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time. No additional charge. It's convenient, yes. flexible, and suited to your schedule. I love it. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash YSK to get 10% off your first month. That mm. is BetterHelp. H E L P dot com slash Y S K. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. I think there needs to be a genuine study done on these people that are act this way towards animals. And I think there's needs to be a genuine study on people that like murder docs and skydive. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like to like they have to enjoy both of those or just mm, either or either or. If you if you genuinely are a murder doc person, and if you are genuinely a skydive person, I have a theory about these kind of people. Okay, let's go to skydive first. Skydive first. I like murder docs. Okay, and I'm and that explains it because you are you are my test subject number one because you are a psychopath. You okay. have human ribs Sky in your dive? freezer. You asked me if you could collect my fingers when I die. I boil ribs with water yeah. for stew. Skydiving, go to hell. Like, literally, if I'm not jumping out of a plane. I, I don't think care if I have an extra -ish parachute. I don't care if I have a life jacket and the water's soft. I don't care. Do I, I don't care. No, I don't. I, no. I think people that skydive either have their life is going too well or it's going so bad so bad yeah they need it's like they're skydiving to shake something up. exactly if you're people that are doing too well in life like they have no concerns or problems or like adversity in their life like, let's go jump out of a plane yeah let's go risk our lives exactly and the people that are doing horrible in life they're like it's like if that shit doesn't <laughs> open i'll be fine yeah. <laughs> that's so bad like no one's had no, a I, normal I, life bro, it's like i like skydiving like would we ever just go on a, on a plane and jump out no no i would ever that doesn't that that shit that's doesn't it. make sense to me bro that's actually a fantastic like that could almost you could make a like a scientific published like article well like I, I do have i have an award no, in college oh oh i have i have proof now for you i have proof now my mom texted me this oh my god here we go my mom texted me that she was going she sent a picture of the award could, no it's an award that I didn't even know I got. I got an award from yeah. Seminole, our college, and I was a dumbass in a, whenever we were in college together. She sent me this, and she goes, I'm still proud of you to this day. I was like, what are you talking about? A letter from Seminole State College. Dear Peyton, 
On behalf of Seminole State College administration, faculty, and staff, I would like to personally congratulate you on your outstanding academic accomplishments in the fall 2017 semester. Your semester grade point average has qualified you to be a member of the vice president's honor roll. So not even the real president's honor <laughs> Your your extraordinary A B efforts, your your just even keel grades have been fantastic for us to watch and follow. But uh, the whole internet thinks I'm a dumbass. Ninety percent of y'all losers don't have that from your college. That was mean, but he's spitting facts. I'm talking about the people that are mean to me. I'm mean back. Oh, that's warranted. That's warranted. Yeah. Now, how many you, got that you got that for real? Oh. F <laughs> no, but 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 in wait, is my wife dumb? Why'd you say it like that? <laughs> he, said, he said, "Wait, you got it." Oh. It's not the best window. teammate to have. I'm saying like, but in my other college, I did get it for sociology and English. That's good. That's nice. But murder doc people. Yeah. Skydiving. Skydiving. Either you're too doing good, too, too well, bad, too bad. Murder doc. I think uh, this is going down a rabbit hole. I'm putting my tinfoil hat on. Let's Tinfoil hat is conspiracy theory, people. See, that's that expression shit again. I've never met, once made a cap out of tinfoil. No, but you know, there's like people that go to the woods and put tinfoil hat. That's what it comes from. Like those real conspiracy theory people. And there's so, real, there's real human beings that go to the, f there's real human beings that go to the forest and oh, use foil to make caps. No, I'm just saying, it's like, it's more of like a character. Like those are the characters of those people that put the tinfoil hats on. Okay, go. My tinfoil hat theory about murder docs, right? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. If this is me, I'm. St I think there is a real psychological problem with people that look forward to murder doc, uh, murder documentaries. I think it's a genuine psychological problem because those are, it's not a show. Yeah, that's real people. Okay, that I got m mutilated in yeah. their homes, and they're yeah. like, I think it's. I think it's making these bad people like stars. I think it's bad. It is, it, is, it is definitely that. That's like the biggest complaint. Okay, first off, before I lose my train of thought, I am now happy to say I'm not those people. I don't look forward to them. I don't search them. But like, <laughs> if it's like trending on Netflix, like it's the number three show in the country, I'll watch it. I don't see, but that's different. You gotta admit that's different. I'm not sitting it's here. It's so strange. I'm not to sitting me. here putting on crime junkie podcasts. In, in no disrespect. No, no, no. We at love all. crime I'm junkies. Saying, like, I'm just saying I don't listen to it on a daily. Watch it on a yeah. nightly. Like, I, it's like if it's trending, I'll tune in. With that being said, I 100% agree with you, bro. I think, like, it it casts light in the wrong direction. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's doing it toward the killer, toward the serial exactly. killer, toward the murder. It's like how they got away with it, the yeah. psyche of them. The, Let's, how they were how they were this uh, this feng shui person yeah. and attractive, and it allowed them to kill. It's like, bro. And let's get into the business side of it. With all these different crime shows, podcasts, documentaries, they, I... You got to think there's a boardroom of people like let's take these streaming That's services bro. there's a boardroom of people that are vetting how brutal these things are like oh they didn't they didn't do enough or like if a new thing happens oh we're gonna make it like we gotta wait for this trial to go out and like while the trial is going on while this family is grieving you're you're putting out this storyline and this script to whenever you put this doc out like you're monetizing on other people's sorrows and i doubt i don't know for sure but i doubt the family gets the family gets all. anything Nothing. or a say so in anything. Like I don't want crime pictures of my daughter that got mutilated on on Netflix. Okay, Devil's Advocate, Devil's Advocate. CBS is going to do this documentary, mm -hmm. whether you agree to it or not. It's yeah. going to go out, but they offer you uh, a small percentage if you're just openly willing for it. Would you take that? It's not even Would that help anything. I'm talking about the first step, the fact that they're even trying. Like they, they're like, we're going to put this out regardless oh, yeah. of what you say. It's creepy, yeah. Like while this thing is going on, we're thinking of how we can monetize this, how the that's storyboard is going to go. The like that is like that's insane to me. No, that's sick. But if that was your daughter, if that was your son or daughter, like, would you would the money help in any way, shape, or form? I take it, but uh, yeah, but okay. like it they, wouldn't help. It wouldn't. Help, it would make yeah. me feel yeah. better. That's bro. That's the biggest thing. People think getting paid off like by the government or something after a crazy natural like natural a crazy disaster mm -hmm. like they think that brings closure they're like oh they'll be good they just got paid 15 million they lost their kid yeah it's There's zero closure and my biggest fear in life my biggest fear in life is getting arrested for something i didn't do bro that is my biggest fear like i cannot imagine i see these oh things God. of like people this dude got arrested for 25 years and, and it comes out and they are bro are you i'm going back because i'm killing everybody Literally. i'm killing everybody that put me in jail that it, oh my god and okay you just opened something up me if i was ever to be a lawyer it'd be for those people because that shit is so 
Like that actually hurts my soul. I can't to imagine see people that. Go, ima bro, we're, we're 25. Mm -hmm. We have been alive for 25 years. There's some people that have been falsely accused, yeah. served 30 years in prison, mm -hmm. come out when they're 54 years old. They get like and 10 they, mil and then they're they like- get, Bro, some of them don't even get that money. Yeah, that's crazy. They get like a million dollars. I thought it was gonna so happen. Like, he, he just missed out on three decades yeah. of building a family, building a career, having his own thing, living his own life. I thought it was gonna happen to me bro. recently because I thought my house got swatted. In the, like at 6 a.m. I swear to God, I thought my house got swatted because I was in my bed, right? Sleep, butt ass, bed, but booty butt ass naked. My cheeks were out. I was not in any defense mechanism. Like I couldn't defend myself. If they came and broke down the door, my willy's out. They might, they might make eye contact might take with a it. Too. I have, I have a defense. Stop, I have stop. a defense mechanism. If, if somebody breaks into my house, like a group of people, I'm already butt ass naked. I'm always naked in my house. I'm just going to bend over and make a wink. You don't want to grab me like that. Oh, imagine getting shot right in the asshole. Uh -oh. oh, God. That's a different pain I've never even thought of. Okay, but imagine you literally go, You go, get back! <laughs> You're like, watch out! Okay, but imagine... <laughs> with extreme accuracy. Imagine that. If you're oh. going to say, put your mind in the in the headspace of a robber, right? You're coming Come to here. rob my house, right? You know, that's Peyton's house. We're going to go rob him. You kick down my door. Boom! You look up. And you just see my balloon not winking at you. You're you're done. Your agenda's done. There's no way you want any of my belongings. I, I definitely leave your freak ass where you are. <laughs> I probably barricade your door and take as much as I can on the two lower levels. So I thought I was getting swatted. So it was 6 a.m. booty butt ass naked. I was prepared to defend myself. I put myself over the edge of the bed like this, and I was like, "Come to, come in this door if you want some. You're gonna make eye contact with all of the inside of me. You're gonna see my small intestine through the back. You're gonna see my farts." <laughs> You are going to watch it, leave me. And anytime like, I bend over like that, it's like an air freshener, like a negative air freshener. My whole room is going to smell like that. <laughs> it's going to get into the walls, the carpet, <laughs> like that shit. You don't want that. <laughs> a, a negative air freshener. I'm, we got to coin that. That they're gonna, shit is they're gonna funny. Be, they're going to walk in. Give me. Oh, what the fuck? They're going to get out of here. <laughs> A negative air freshener. That is. Oh, that's. See, now that's an expression. <laughs> that should be a real thing. That's, oh, he has a negative air freshener. So the reason I thought I was getting swatted, right? I was sleeping. And I hear, you know, on a blow horn, right? The ones you put up to use at like sporting events and marathons, like the blow horns. Yeah. And you, you know, you can press a button and it makes a siren. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> I heard that yeah. about three times outside of my house. It sounds like he's right in front of my house. And I was like, what the? F I was like, I don't know. My neighbors are weird. I saw one of them get tied up. Your neighborhood. Never. <laughs> so, so. You live in Arkham. So then I heard that. Boop, boop, boop. And then I hear. Somebody's talking, but I couldn't make out what they were saying. Carrie's car, Felix, car, Felix, car. Whip, whip, whip. Hurry, car, Felix, car, Felix, car, Felix, Whip, whip, whip. Hurry, car, Felix, car, Felix, car. I'm like, who the f is talking to me? And then I heard, I heard, I heard boom, boom, boom. And so that's when I got into uh, the, someone's in your home. And then so that's when I got like this, right? And so, I was like, if you want some, come get some. And I waited like this for two and a half minutes. And then the smell got so putrid, I had to, I had to close back up. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the craziest part about that whole thing is when you're waiting right there, your man. It's just sitting. <laughs> and I hope, I hope. It was cold in there. Okay. That, 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 I that was say, tight. I was, about, I was about to say, I hope it's close and personal. If you're sitting there morning wood, Just loose. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. I think people would be highly disappointed if I got swatted. Like this, if, if like the FBI came into my door, I don't think, like they wouldn't think I'm a criminal. Oh, bro, they would be in so, they'd literally be like, what the f the first, the first thing, uh, uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna give a SWAT mm -hmm. uh, a recreation if you got SWATed. Freeze! Boom! They come in. What the? F oh God! Uh, first floor clear. There's a lot of f trash right there, but let's go up. Let's go up. Go, 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 go. <laughs> the, what the? F what is this? But there's so many liquids. I know he has people in here. What's all this cardboard? He's doing something. It's him. Go to the third. They get to the third. He has French doors. Kick them both open. He's but. Naked Craig! <laughs> it's butt naked Craig! It's him! We got the bastard! And you're just sitting there. And then, and then, and then after that, they see a Diet Coke and three kitchen knives. They go, yeah, it's him! Put him on the ground! That's what would happen. Oh my god. No, you that you're right. You'd get arrested. You would get arrested if you got swatted. You've done nothing wrong and they're taking you in. A butt naked man with 16 cargo uh cargo with 16 cardboard boxes, kitchen knives everywhere, enough liquids to feed a village, and you're butt naked.
<laughs> You're out of there. But if I have a defense mechanism past my, my negative air freshener, not with cops because I wouldn't do that, but if I was trying to get jumped, I'm pissing on everybody. It's a, I'm, hey, it's a golden shower. It's a golden sh- I'm I'm like, no! So exactly. Tell me you're not going to, you're going to grab that? You have a, so, you, so you mean to tell me you have a Tommy gun? I, uh, <laughs> what was that? I have, I, I, said, <laughs> I have strong stream syndrome. You have triple S. I have strong stream syndrome. Strong stream syndrome. Yeah, and you know I got bad PPD, so there's always extra dribbles when I think I'm done. They, they are cuffing you up. You're trying to wiggle oh it on the shoes. I'm like, a, you know when those painters, they splash the paint at the canvas? That's me and my penis. <laughs> it's like the modern art. There's like... <laughs> Sorry, I missed you. Oh, God. What's oh. your defense? Okay, it's either that or I lay on my back. I'm like this. Bro, you're going out like a bitch. <laughs> Get away. <laughs> that. You'd lay on your back and go, it's not me. No, it, even if it was me, if I'm getting jumped, right? Hey, blood, give me, run them chains. I'd be like, I'd, I'd literally go, oh, I'd go full Caucasian. You got the wrong <laughs> guy. You're, you're going to hear from my lawyer. <laughs> that's what that's, that's a, my, you know, my. Deal. That is. They're like, they, do you know who my father is? And they go, who, Mike? And I go, ah, damn. <laughs> yeah. That, that's my, the only thing I can think of. The only thing I can conjure in the moment. I'd be like, you're making a big mistake, buddy. So, oh, you want to touch my head? Do it. That's another lawsuit. Do it. Do it. Do it. That's oh, what I'll I own your ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're getting pissed on by me. like that house when I get out. It's mine. That's, uh, that'd be me. Just straight threats. <laughs> Empty threats at that. Yeah, I think we would be bad if we got jumped. Uh, you're going, you're going okay, lawyer. No, I'm going no, pissing. No, no, no. That's, that's with federal law enforcement. That's with FBI. If we're just getting jumped in the street, I'm pulling out a, a couple safety mechanisms first. I'm going to try to trick them yeah. as if I have way much, like way more skill than I actually mm-hmm. do. I hit them with the, all right, bet. <laughs> you're going to pretend I you do, know I some just, shit. I, watch. <laughs> I do. Oh, I'm pretending I'm a black belt. I think you're and going they, the wrong approach. Oh, no. You, because you're, you have, you have something wrong up here. You need to go full crazy mode. No, it, you uh, need to go. Like yeah, scratch go, your face off. Go, you don't want it. You. Oh, I've been waiting. Oh, you picked the wrong guy, pal. Let's do it. And then I slap myself. And then I rip my shirt off my chest. I'm like. Ah! And if we're together, him. I'm pissing on the You're other one. On him, I'm, fu- I'm, I'm like. Hey. Yeah. You want this? You want his piss piss all on you? You want that? Oh, you picked with the wrong crew, pal. That's what I'm going. <laughs> and they would be like, we don't want to fuck with these guys. Yeah, and I go, yeah, you better not. And we turn around like, oh, thank God, man. And I'm like, I still got more coming. Yeah, you're sitting there wiggling it off. I'm catching my breath. God. <laughs> that is not oh. a di- That is a dynamic duo oh. in its own regard. We would be the best tag team. Oh. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Liquid IV. With that summer feeling running wild, you need hydration that keeps you up with every single moment. A single stick of Liquid IV makes ordinary hydration extraordinary. With three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drinks, plus eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. I love Liquid IV. You know, they sent a lot to the house. Mm-hmm. I love it so much but it, because I need to be hydrated. You know I have a hydration problem, but not anymore because oh, of Liquid IV. And they send those sugar-free packs. It's so simple. You get the pack, Go you up. rip it, you pour it into the water, shake it up a little bit, you drink it, you're hydrated, and it tastes good. Good morning to you. I've been on white peach heavy. Oh, I've been on the green grape. The green grape is my favorite. You know I'm a green grape type of guy. One of my favorite parts about Liquid IV is that you can literally take it anywhere Everywhere, everywhere, at any time. That's a fact. Single little stick and go in the pocket, go in the purse, go in the satchel, backpack, doesn't matter. Anywhere you want. You can be hydrated wherever you want. Liquid IV makes it easy to stay hydrated. Liquid IV is the number one powered hydration brand in America. Three times the electrolytes of leading sports drinks. Tear, pour, live more. One stick plus 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. Eight vitamins and nutrients, non-GMO, free from gluten, dairy, and soy with no artificial colors or sweeteners. Four delicious sugar-free flavors. White peach, green grape, raspberry, malone, and limon lime. A zero sugar hydration solution with no artificial sweeteners. Clinically tested to hydrate more than water alone. Turn your ordinary water into extraordinary hydration with Liquid IV. Get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code YSK at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code YSK at liquidiv.com. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. 
You know, one thing I learned about myself when you dropped the 24 hour day in a life documentary of me, right? There's a lot to learn from that damn video. <laughs> and so, you I, gassy bastard. I've always known I have a shit problem. I, I, have, I have loose bowels. I have a loose, loose hole. Loose thing. You know what I mean? I, I let that thing breathe, if you know what I mean. It's a negative air pressure. Yeah, right? it's a ne you know, let's move past that. We're done with the poop talk. <laughs> I, that's the first time I've been able to watch myself through a 24 hour period. Mm -hmm. Like that's scary to watch. You're scaring me with what you're about to say. Well, one of the things I learned about myself is I've known this though, but having to face it was the hard part. I am most self-conscious in a drive through <laughs> I always feel like I'm inconveniencing the person that is like taking my order. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like I am bothering them with my request. You pro I, but what do you do? You probably are, but what, how, okay. why, what makes you think that? Like, you never feel like you're asking for too much. I am paying for whatever I'm about to, did you just fart in the middle of that? Three times. My point's <laughs> three times? <laughs> Four. But no, I'm paying for whatever I'm going to ask you, so I'm going to ask for whatever the Okay, hell I but want. watch this, watch You be the, 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 the say we're at McDonald's. Okay. That's where I go okay. for drive through Say you're the drive through person, right? Okay. All right, I'm driving. I pull up. All right. Hi, welcome to... Uh, oh. First day of the job, huh? <laughs> Hi, welcome to McDonald's. What can I get for you? Okay. S excuse me? Stop. Why are you being rude? Can I get a number three? Okay. Large. Okay. With large fries, too. Is that it? Is that going to be it? A large Diet Coke. Okay, large Diet So a large number three meal. Gotcha. Is that, will that be all? No. All right. <laughs> barbecue sauce. Is that a pig in your car? Do you, do you need a pup cup for the pig? Okay, bar barbecue sauce on the combo. Will that be all? <laughs> Sir, you got to feed that oinker. You got to feed your livestock in the car. <laughs> okay. And more pickles. More you want a side order of pickles? On the burger, please. M more pickles on the burger, okay. Sir, I don't know if I'm inclined to ask this. Are you crying through the drive-thru right now? <laughs> uh, there's a pig or you're crying. It's, it's either or. <laughs> it's a lot for me. You, you want a lot of food? What else do you need? <laughs> you had bacon on the burger, too. Uh, I'll add bacon. Sounds good, sir. Will that be it? That's it. That, that's it. This time? You sh this time? That's it? E Th easy ice, actually. What? Easy ice on your drink. You see what I mean? Okay, yeah, that's bullshit. That exactly. Would piss me off too. I feel say like it, say it with some cadence. Hey, can I get it? What'd you order? Number three. Number three, large. Hey, can I get a number three large combo? Easy ice on the doctor uh, on the diet coke. Uh, let me add some bacon and extra pickles. Barbecue that took sauce. seven seconds. Let me get some barbecue sauce. Okay, some pup okay, okay but I, I feel like I'm giving them too much information if I don't break it into their que <clears throat> into their questioning. When you break it up, all it's doing is adding the awkward silence, and that's why you get flustered. Okay, but watch this. If I were to do it all at once, can I get a number three large fry, large Diet Coke, extra pickles, uh, barbecue sauce, easy ice on the Diet Coke? Forgot your bacon. And with extra bacon. <laughs> Sir, you got bacon in the passenger seat. You got a pig with you. <laughs> but that's but they can if they can't take that, that's on them. The way you're doing it is currently on you. Hey, can I get a number three? Large fries with it. <laughs> uh, what do you want to drink? Oh, I was going to say my drink. Uh, Diet Coke. Uh, is that it? No, no, let me bacon and pickles and <laughs> that's it, easy ice on the drink. All right, that'll be 13 to barbecue sauce for the like you got it. You're saying it's like you're f***ing them up. You're messing them up consistently. The guy probably hates you. You probably get to the window. He's like this. It's $14. He hates, he hates dealing with you. And have you ever dropped your card on the way to hand it off to the you drive through? Drop your card. All the, I drop everything. The handoff. I suck with hand shit. Recently, we've been meeting fans. I don't Tuesday. know what it is. Tuesday. Tuesday. What's up, brother? Bro, you've dropped your debit card. I dropped, I've dropped drinks. I've, I went to Sonic, and I got a lot of food. I got chili cheese dog, 12 foot, big glizzy, Drake style. That's and what you can't. I had, I had the popcorn nuggets. I had um, the, the tater tots with cheese, and I had the french fries. And a burger. And I Who are you feeding? <laughs> Me. When I'm really depressed, I can eat. That sounds like you just ordered like, uh, your family's meal from a concession stand. But I fridge half of it for the morning. Right. If, I know, if I know tomorrow's going to be a big anxious day, I, I want to say <laughs> You never know you have a big anxious day the next day. Like tomorrow is going to be rough to get up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I love you. You are unapologetic with you. I have never once intentionally ordered food because I know I'm going to have a rough day the next day. I've never done that. That has never gone through my head. So you've never had like a scratchy throat and the next day I know I'm going to be sick the next day.
So I, 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 I stock up on fast food. No, that's an, that's an analogy. In fridge. That's an analogy. That's no. me with my brain and my anxiety. I know tomorrow I will see gr gray. <laughs> I will have heart palpitation. I, I will be glued to my sheets. Like, I know it's a big movie day tomorrow. My phone will not leave my head. No. It cannot leave my yeah. head. Yeah. And I, I woke up. I woke up the other day and I had that moment. And, but it, I didn't get the pre like the, the day before I didn't have the like I know tomorrow's gonna be a sad day so it surprised me when I woke up and I, as soon as I woke up it was I, it was raining in my room clear as shit outside <laughs> in my room Great. tsunami and I want to experience an earthquake because I want to see how my ass jiggles wait you want to be in a natural disaster to see if you can twerk. That's what you just said. Just to see if I got- You want to be a part of something that can take lives to see your butt- Earthquakes move. can't take lives. Er earthquakes kill people? Okay, let's no, dive dead into ass, this. No, dead let's, ass. Let's dive into this. I've never experienced one. Earthquake shakes enough, building drops down. No one can get harmed from that? No, that. I get that. And, and that's wrong. And I, God, God bless if that's but, happened but, to you. But you want the earthquake so you can- <laughs> You want the earthquake so you can just sex so I can So I can see if I look like Coyle Ray in the mirror. As soon as I feel an earthquake, I'm getting butt ass naked. I'm getting in front of a mirror and I'm like, am I Coyle Ray today? You know what I mean? I want to see on the scale the Coyle Array to Meg the Stallion. Where's Peyton oh, Land? Oh, you can never be Meg. You can never be even. Coy, Coy is a fantastic. I, that is a fantastic uh, 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 comparison for you. For me? Thin frames, skinny. You could probably move like Koi. You'll never be a stallion. You'll never be Houston hottie Meg herself. Never. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at Rocket Money. Did you find any subscriptions that you didn't even know you're paying for or maybe doubled up on something? Gyms, streaming services, everything in the world. I have so many subscriptions that I didn't even know about, but I got it taken care of because of rocket money whoa did you know that nearly 75 percent of people have subscriptions that they've forgotten about before i started using rocket money i thought i had about i don't know about three four you know what i mean the regular amount once i got into rocket money i was like what is happening in my bank account right now i was paying for so many subscriptions each month between streaming services fitness apps and delivery services it was never ending thanks to rocket money i am no longer wasting money on the ones i forgot about rocket money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions monitors your spending and helps you lower your bills so that you can grow your savings mm, i can see all of my subscriptions in one place if i see something that i don't want rocket money can help me cancel it with a few taps rocket money will even try to negotiate lower bills for you by up to 20 percent all you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with the customer service for you. Rocket Money has over 5 million, mm, certified. 5 million users certified. and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, <laughs> saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Stop wasting money on things that you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash YSK. That's rocketmoney.com slash YSK. And one more time for you in the back. It's rocketmoney.com slash YSK. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. You see, that's another thing. You, we argued in the car. Not, uh, th uh, that pissed yeah, me you, off. You screamed at me in the car the other day. <laughs> You screamed for at me. good reason. For no reason. For good reason. Explain to them. We were literally in the car. I'm on the phone. I said, "Yes, we are riding to the house. We're riding in the car to the house." Who? Okay. Were we in an Uber? No. Who's driving? We're in a car. You're driving. So, am I riding in the car? Or am I driving the car? Are you in something that's moving and it is riding? You are controlling no, it. No, that makes no sense. What you just said, and it's riding. We are riding in the car. You are riding. The You're my passenger princess. You're my little sweet thing to my right. Okay. I was holding your thigh and tickling you a little bit. You, no, you weren't. No, you weren't. You, 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 I, yeah, I grabbed the inside of your knee and I twig. You are controlling the car. I'm driving it. You are driving the car. So I'm not riding you in it. You are still riding in the car. No, riding, you have no responsibility but to sit there and enjoy the ride. I am driving the car. I'm not riding in the car. I am driving the car. You can't drive and ride the car. You are controlling where the car goes, but us being in the car itself, we are riding in the car. We, as a collective, are riding in this car. Okay. There's one person controlling it. That was you. Okay. Captain of the ship. You're still on the ship. You're still in the voyage. Okay, watch this. You ever seen a Lambo go by and you seen like, oh, bro, what do you say? 
Oh, bro, that dude's riding in a Lamborghini. I go, why the f is there a Lambo in Little Elm? That's what I say. But no. What do you say? Look at that sick car. <laughs> you're, see, you're a, you're a vindictive no, little bastard. That's because I'm not in it. The scenario I said makes sense to me and it is factually accurate. I said we are riding in the car. We are not. There's someone driving it. Payton is driving the car. Is your ass in the seat? You said I'm riding the car. I'm riding in Payton's car. Okay. This I, is what you say. We're going to openly, I, I'm going to allow you to yes or no me. Okay. Only if you yes or no back. Okay. And I'm going to go first. Go ahead. And I'll answer any of yours. Go ahead. Okay. Yes or no, is your seat, is your butt in a seat? Yes. Yes or no, are we in a car going from A to B? Yes. Okay. When you're in something, such as a motor vehicle, and you're going from A to B, when you are blanking the road, is, would that be considered riding? You I'm riding, riding the road? You're right, oh, right, not the road. You're riding to the location. You are, you're, I'm driving to the location. I was driving to the location. You're you riding to the location. You are in a ride. Okay. Okay. Say this. Honestly, yes or no? Honestly, don't be a little vindictive little prick. I'm not watching. <laughs> I've never used that word. That's yeah, so fun. That Prick. Sharp. That was sharp. Prick. Prick's like calling someone bastard. Just funny insults. Yeah, you bastard. know what I mean? Okay. Would you say riding in an Uber is the same as driving your car? Yes or no? If I can only say yes or no, I'd say no. So, the argument is over. And I've won. And now you kiss no. my feet and you say, sorry, dada. <laughs> sorry, dada? Give me uppies. Sorry, daddy. Say it. You say it to me in private. Am say it I to me in squeezing your nipples? What nipple do you have to where I'm like that? You have a handlebar nipple. Give me uppies. Give me uppies, Papa. That's what you got to say now. What is uppies? Uppies. You never asked for uppies as a kid? You pick, pick, pick you up, Mama. Pick me up. I want uppies, Mommy. Yeah, Mom, pick me up. If you're at that point where you can function a sentence that well, you don't need to say, Mom, pick me up. You need to be walking your bitch ass along. <laughs> what are you talking about? I've never gone... A beast! A beast! What would you Never. say whenever you were a kid and you wanted your mom to pick you up? Up. <laughs> up. Lisa, lift! <laughs> yeah. Up. Me now. Up. Ceiling, touch me up now. That's why I say up. I remember my parents, uh, my parents used to like discipline me in grocery stores. Did yours? Dude, I threw up one time off vanilla wafers. I got one quick spanking, then a mouth rub. Wait, what? In a store? In Walmart, in the middle of the aisle. You, so my mom, so my, you were stealing vanilla wafers in the store? No, my mom was an advocate. We're going to pay regardless, but if you want a snack now, you can eat it. I'm going to pay for it. Oh, okay. So we get vanilla wafers. I open them. Why did you get spanked for that? Because I threw up. <laughs> so for a bodily function, your parents disciplined you? No, but that's the, that's the part you don't understand it. I downed the entire package <laughs> at maybe four years old. You've been a farm animal. The entire... <laughs> you have... The entire... I was like this. <laughs> the whole pack, and then it's gone. The, part, the reason I got whooped, yeah. not whooped, it was a, sing, a singular spank. And it was from Lisa, so mm -hmm. it was like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Cameron. <laughs> this hurts me more than it hurts you. I'm like, just give me some water. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm drowning in my throat. The reason is because I never said my stomach was hurting. Oh, you are trying I to fight through. I was just quiet like this, and I just went... In the middle of the aisle, all over, cart and everything. See, I remember my, my parents, they would give me that talk in the car. When we get in here... We're coming here for what we are coming for. Don't touch nothing. Don't ask for nothing. That, that, that's not on this list. That's hot. That's fire. Uh, what? Oh, you just called my dad hot? No, that's a strange thing. I didn't mean I meant like you that. Like, you like dominance? No. <laughs> I told you. I told him. No. <laughs> I'm saying I like, I like that. As a parent, so I'd like to do that. Hey, you're not touching shit. We're here for bread, eggs, milk, getting back. Exactly. To don't touch no G.I. Joe. Don't touch no Roomba. Don't touch anything. But I would see the WWE belts, and I would be like, I want to be... John Cena. I want to be the heartbreak kid. You know what I mean? I want to be Randy Orton. I like when you do that. So I would touch stuff and my brain has always been a little flustered. Oh. So I touch stuff and I'd go to the vlogging cameras and I'd be like, ah, Shane Dawson. You know what I mean? And so I remember my, my parents would discipline me in a grocery store. They, they didn't give a shit who was watching. Discipline, right? Mm -hmm. Very embarrassing. You ever got spanked in the bread aisle with Never. with with compadres of your age going by and they're watching and you're cry you trying to hold that tear in? Never once. But I re I remember, um, me and my mom were in a Target one time, and my mom don't play about kids talking back. Yeah. Never has. Your I've mom, learned that from a young age. Play about much. <laughs> and so don't talk back is the number one thing I've learned as a kid. And so I was Damn I was a boy. grown kid. I was like nine ten, right? Mm -hmm. And there is a mother disciplining her child. Now, her family and my family was different <laughs> for cultural reasons, right? Okay. They just didn't look the same as us. 
Marino, use your imagination. So the mom was trying to discipline her child in the front of the store in the clothes aisle. The kid goes, mom, don't make me hit you. <laughs> you should have saw the look on Arnita's face. <laughs> she she damn near stuck you simply for being his age. She said, boy, I wish you. <laughs> she, was, she, she felt the pain of that mother in the disobedience of that child. And she goes, pick me up, better. Yo. Yeah, no. Mom, that, okay, that is top tier wild. Mom, mom don't, don't make me, me hit you. Yeah, bro. Imagine, oh. if I would have said that to my mom, I wouldn't have graduated high school. <laughs> you would have been in a Undertaker tombstone in the middle of the bread aisle. Your mom would have flipped your little skinny ass and just right hey, on the skull. It's always overhearing shit that makes me so confused. Like, I, I overheard the other Ooh. day. Old people do this, and I don't know if it's a thing of our generation. People that say it's a quarter till this, a quarter till this time, that shit has always angered me. Why? That's some of those... That, okay, what's a quarter... I didn't learn this till this year. A quarter doesn't mean 25 minutes. It's a quarter past nine, 9.25. Completely wrong. Completely wrong. What is it? So it's 15? Correct. What? Tell me what the... How does that make sense? Explain that to me. Because a quarter... A qu you're, you're thinking straight to currency. A yes. Qu a quarter is a fourth. That's all a quarter is. Well, okay. A, a quarter is a fourth of anything. It's a fourth of anything. Don't think of the actual... I don't understand itself. that. A fourth. A quarter of 10 is 2.5. 2.5, 25. Where is this 15 Bad coming? Example. Yeah, where is 15 it's coming 60. from? An hour is 60 minutes, so okay. if you break it into fourths, a quarter 25, is 15. 50. When did we start speaking in currency? Like, when we're saying it's a, it's a dollar 30 until 18? What am I supposed to, like, what is... <laughs> it's a dollar 30 till noon? Who, the, who are we? It's a dollar 30 till 18. If you fused currency and military time, people are going to think you just walked out of a spaceship you go it's a dollar 30 till 19 takeover no you know it's two pesos quarter. till class starts what are we doing a quarter it's a fourth it's not get the coin out of your mind but, okay what get is a that okay rubbish out of your mind if i were to say what's a quarter right now what would you, what would you honestly to god what would you say what's a quarter a sense of currency in the united states of america what's the value of a quarter 25 cents so why am i looked at stupid for whenever i said 925 because it's it's a quarter is a representation of a quarter of something. You don't think that needs to change? So it start a quarter of a dollar is 25 cents, but there's four of them. That's why they're cutting quarters. Basketball game, whole game's four quarters, quarter. You give me PTSD of algebra. I don't know what the f you're talking about. Just it's any 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 increment, you just split it in fourths. It's not money. It's not transactional. I'm just saying I think we need to come up with better terms. No, I because think you're, a quarter you're, till no, eleven. No. It's 9.45. It's first or off, 10 first off it's 10.45. Jesus. No, <laughs> you need to step out of your own way. Don't think currency. Think fourths. It's simple. I'm just saying, y'all sheep mentality. Y'all just go with what was taught to you as a kid. I believe that is wrong. It's not. I believe that is put on this earth to confuse people. 9.25. Like military times. It is, <laughs> military times is kind of hot. It's kind of cool. Excuse like, me? It's pretty dope. Like, I don't if, get if it. Someone, if someone just spits, you're like, hey, what time is it? They're like 17.33. <laughs> it's like that's tough. I'm saying, but if you were never deployed and I look at your phone, it's in military time. Who are you trying to impress? That is that is also true. It's like, what, what are you doing? You like, you know, I mean, you were never, you were never an insurgent. Never. You never you, took down enemy insurgents. You never held a rifle. You never, you've never worn a hard hat helmet ever. You know life. what I mean? You didn't go you through basics. In the trenches. No, you're you not, didn't you're sing not in sniper school. You didn't sing cute hymns over a beach. No, you. <laughs> You didn't get deployed at Normandy. What are you doing? Put it in regular. You know what I mean? Can you t if I spit times, would you be able to tell me them? Excuse me? If I spit you military times right now, can you tell me them? Absolutely not, but you could try. What's like, I'll give, you, I'll give you a genuine try. Okay, what's 2210? 210. 22. Wait, no, no, no. 22. So 12, 22. Oh, f 10. T what's the second part? 10. ten no, what'd you say? What was your time? 2210. 10, 10. Hey! What's 1543? <laughs> you looked blank. Oh my God, you. Stop, close your ass. The only you literally looked like someone went, come here, took your soul. The only You're reason like I knew that one is because I wanted to be in the junior ROTC. They seemed like they had great times. Bro, they tried to recruit the shit out of me. And I don't know if that, like, I don't. Is there a reason? Because they, they no, normally they go after. They recruit everyone, but they, they, were, they were heavy and on I, me. I'm not trying to be mean when I say this. They, they, Genuinely try to target people with bad grades and low income. That's a genuine fact. That's a fact. So you're either one of them. <laughs> like, that's what they do. You know what I mean? Like, that's, that's a fact. I was, I, was, I was super middle class and I had great grades.
So why were they coming after me? They were probably like, look at that. He they were does like, not. They were like, dude, if we get him, we have a reason to order the XL helmets. We got to get him. You were an inventory piece? I'm talking about they came to my house, bro. Like it was. Oh it no, was, no, that, no! Like ROTC knocked on my door. I'm like, I'm like, dude, is my FBI agent leaking my my COD, my KD? They're like, he has great KD no, ratio. He has, great, he has great thumb movement on the sticks. We need to give him a real gun. Like, relax. No, I but I did want to be in, in junior ROTC because I what remember. What did you not do? What did you not want to? do? I was in debate class, and we oh. it, it was in a portable. And our portable head. I don't. I don't like that. I don't like. Don't call it a portable. That's I don't what it was like, called. I don't like that. It's called. Those, a, it's called a barrack. It's called a barrack. That's if I was in the military, it'd be a barrack. It was a portable barrack. Those are portable classes. No, no, no. You could port them. Portable. No, no, no. no. Are they portable? Yes. Do you, or do they move often? No. You, you I don't know how much they move. You move them from A to B and you leave them there. It's a barrack. Barracks are for military. But they use it for that as well. We were not in military. We were in debate class. It's not portable. Anyway. And so I was I was in debate class, and it was in a portable outside. It was right by the, the track and field. And all the ROTC kids would go around singing songs, and they were so passionate. They were so passionate. And they were, I'm a future Army veteran. You know what I mean? They were, And I wanted to be a part of something. And they seemed like they had great friends, and a lot of my rat tail friends were in there oh, from I elementary bet. school. Oh, I bet. They were itching, <laughs> running their half miles. They were just... And so I was like, I want to be in the junior ROTC. And so I remember at lunch one day, the, the ROTC people were in the lunchroom and they had the pull-up bar going. Oh, God. That used to frighten me to my core. And so, I don't know, something was inviting about that. And they're, like everybody was cheering on the people that were going. And I've never been cheered on in my life. You're so, like, I'm going to give it a shot. So I went. They looked at my grades and they're like, that checks out. <laughs> Come on. They go, they go. And so I get up. That's so mean. I'm kidding. And I couldn't get the first pull up. I couldn't get up. And so the military guy said, cross your legs. And oh pull him back. Oh my God. I had a grown man spotting, spotting me you. in front of the lunchroom. And I looked over and my crush was recording me and laughing. And that's the day my military dreams died. I feel I, I honest, ate lunch in the bathroom that day. I, <laughs> right in the in the handicap stall, more space. I was gonna do it in my car, but I didn't have money for gas, so I couldn't run the gas out. Oh, my. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! It was like junior year, <laughs> you know, basketball wasn't certain. <laughs> Grades were piss poor. <laughs> All time loneliness. All my rat friends were there. I wanted them. <laughs> So I ate in the bathroom, man. I, I still thought this is seventh grade. Oh no no no! You no. could you got spotted on a pull up in front of a grown woman when you have a car and you ate in a stall. Holy shit! You have so bro. You, I, oh, I mean this with the most love. I feel like we, there's so much trauma that you have that we we got we got to bring it out. My whole you, it's got to be shared with the world because there's so many people oh, that you can help. Oh, I have with. lunch horror stories. Oh. My whole senior year, I ate lunch alone in my car listening to Call Her Daddy. I was listening to Alex Cooper and Sophia Franklin telling me how. <laughs> One day I, uh, I was really in the theater. I've always been a musical kid. I loved theater, and so <laughs> the weekend before I went to the theater, uh, they were doing like West Side Story or something. And Pedro, he was doing really good. And he was like my favorite actor. He was same class. Shout out to Pedro. His little brother watches this, and so I was really in the you theater. Had an idol that was the same age. And so, and then I went to my counselor and I was like, can I switch into the theater class to like do side stage, like lighting and stuff? They said no. And, um, and so I was like, but I'm still going to be a part of it. And so I would, I ate lunch behind the stage for two weeks <laughs> in high school. It was so dusty back there. Boy, it smelled you know, horrible. You know what? You know what I'm like imagining right now? Mm -hmm. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You know, oh my God, it's so funny. Like not, not at the trauma part. But okay. Bro, you know those people, and if you're this person, I'm sorry, but it's a real thing. You know those people that kind of just like... They force themselves into like a group or a friendship or a <laughs> conversation. Yeah. You were 100 percent that kid. What do you and mean? You didn't need to be. That's what makes it. What funny. you think I would? You okay? But that's I think you got told no to theater, so you eat behind their curtain for two weeks. I didn't talk to what nobody. A freak! And exactly. That's my point. You sat there and you're like, dude, maybe Pedro will just come out. He'll see me. Maybe I can crack a joke and I'll be in there. No, but it's like, more. Like, imagine, imagine, imagine. Imagine at the lunchroom, right? Mm -hmm. All say the whole basketball team sitting at this table. Mm -hmm. There's that one kid. Mm -hmm. he, always, he loves Steph Curry, right? He always wears the jersey. Yeah. Matches horribly. Yeah. But he thinks he's really basketball minded. He just kind of sits next to him, just waits for one day. Who's better, Magic or Steph? And he goes, Oh, God. 
it's my time. And he literally turns, and now he's a basketball player. But that's I've always that I've always been like that with things that I want in life. Like whenever I was wanted to, that's good though. I it's wanted good. a basketball scholarship. So I remember I tried to spend as much time during the summer in a gym. I would go to the twenty four hour fitness by my house in Pflugerville. You mm -hmm. remember that? Mm -hmm. And I would sit there all day. I would work out, and then when I got tired, I would eat lunch there. I would just, I would like chill out, take a nap in there. I just bro. like, I just, I think that helps like making myself better. Bro, I did that when we were young, bro. We were there. Why'd you get so serious? All day. Sorry. I <laughs> what did, the I f did. I'm sorry. I didn't. Yeah, no, I did no, that all no. the time. No, that f I was laughing so hard. It like drained me. That shit though, I'm mm -hmm. right there with you. I would literally go to 24 hour fitness. I'd be there for like maybe eight, nine hours a day. So why the hell did you laugh at me when I ate lunch in the theater? It's the same thing. You were eating lunch in the black box when the theater kids were practicing. They were reading their lines and you're sitting there down in applesauce. That's weird. Yeah. You were drinking chocolate milk while Pedro was getting off his monologue. You've, That's ne not you've okay. never ate lunch in a bathroom? I ate lunch in one of three locations. Popular kids My table. Entire, entire high school career. In the lunchroom, in the basketball locker room, with my coach when he was doing PE, when he was coaching PE. See, popular kids, non popular I kids. I was not a pop. I, I mean. Cam, the reason, this is, and Cam told me the story and he's gonna, he's gonna deny it. I'm not gonna deny this it. This is how Cam became, he wanted to be with the cool kids so bad. I don't know. He, wanted, wanted, to be he cool wanted to be with the black kids. He wanted to what? be in with, that's true, Cam. What? You're like, I love the black culture. I wanna no, be involved. No. And so I one love, day, I no, in your basketball. ghetto ass, ratchet ass I, school, I shut up. The basketball, shut, with that stuffed ass wolf in your hallway. And this is exactly accepted. what Cam did. He walked to the lunchroom. He was nerdy and nasty and big. <laughs> What cam is this? This wasn't me. He had his TI-85 and 18 pencils in the back. <laughs> I used to collect pencils exactly. in grade school. So this is how you know the story's true. That's how I true. stabbed myself in the YMCA. Exactly. This is how you know the story's true. So Cam walks into the lunchroom. He hears all the kids of my culture. He hears this. This is not this Yeah. Right. And so Cam's like, oh, I like that funky beat. <laughs> I like that mix they got going. And so Cam. Is that acapella? And yes or no, did you say... Hold the f up. I got a 16 for y'all. And you spit with them. Yes or no, did you do that? And then, whenever it was a little if you didn't get the reaction you wanted, y'all hear that new Lil Dirk? And you would recite lyrics of King Vaughn and Lil Dirk until they automatically respected you. Absolutely not. Cam. That is a f that is a fairy tale. That's why you had hey. so many pencils, because you were hitting the beat like this. No, no bullshit, though. You're on to something with that one. I, I, I did not say, hold the f up. I got a 16. I was the beat guy, though. Exactly. Any, anytime they wanted to rap, they were like, hey, yo, Cam, hit a beat. Exactly. I had rhythm. I was accepted. Culture by vulture. My of the <laughs> Culture vulture. No, they completely accepted me and loved me. Cam, yes or no, did you walk in your first day of freshman year with a do rag on? <laughs> okay, what are we. <laughs> no. If I did that, I would have been in a fight. <laughs> no, but uh, actually, my first day of freshman year, I had a Hollister shirt tucked into chinos with my belt on and Sperry's. And then you dropped your first beat. You saw the reaction they gave you, and you were like, Went home, I'm copping the waves. Made a SoundCloud mixtape, shaved the hair, got a dewy, pulled up next day in some Jordan 4s. And I was like, oh, you're getting, you're playing with tricky oh, territory. Like, so, no. <laughs> nope. just, so, yeah. All right, let's get the women on real quick. The You Should Know Podcast. All right, we got Ash and the Mama Lip back week two, week two, week two, two weeks in a row, two weeks in a row, two weeks in a row, two weeks in a row. The women of you should know. The women of you should know. The women, the women. Okay, how are we feeling this week? How are we feeling this week? Can we can can we say that y'all lost the debate? All three of y'all. I won three on one of the babe and baby thing. Was on your side. No, no, she was not. She was on her. I did say it was in the tone of how you say it makes it slightly better. Agreed. Agreed. But I still. If you're going to call me baby, call me baby behind closed doors. Oh, unless, unless. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 I did. That's all I want to say. Thank no, you. Yeah. I won. I'm not, not going to lie. You didn't even win. You you body bag. I body like, bag. It was, it was like, it was like a, it, like it a was landslide like, it was victory. Like 89 to like 92% were baby. Yeah. Women just like the way he said it. That's very true. It was all women in the comments talking about, yeah, I like the way Peyton says it. Peyton can call me baby anytime. Keep going. Keep going. Peyton can call me baby anytime. Damn, if he said it like that, I'd be done with my man. Hey, P. <laughs> That's the Peyton girl. Shout out to my Peyton girlies out there. Shout out to Peyton girlies, even though half you spell his name wrong. <gasps> <laughs> no, what, I've seen some wild ways people have spelled someone, my name. Bro, the worst one ever was someone spelt your name like like it was a 12 year old white girl. <laughs> P E I G H T O N, yeah. I said. Well, she might have been young. She, That's I true. I, I saw somebody uh, spell my name P A D E N. They always spell Payton. mine wrong. Peyton? Peyton. I always forget Ashley with two ends. No, I didn't know that until like two years ago. Wait, your name's two ends? Ashlyn. <laughs> you didn't know there's two ends at the end of your name? 
No bullshit. I think I have your name as with one. That's name. me too. Yeah, and then she was in my her phone. Instagram name, like she was just trying to be like. Yeah, like. Oh ads. no, I have two ends. I have two ends. I have two ends. I'm Gucci. Never mind. Sorry. Okay, so we're at the. Okay, this is strange, right? And I know I shouldn't think this way, but I'm at the. We're this. We're 25. About to be 26. Or 20. You're 26. 26. You're about to be about 26. 26. You're about to be 25. Mm -hmm. So I'm 25. And now, <laughs> and now, I'm on Instagram, right? And I still follow people that I grew up with, right? And we're all the same age. Mm -hmm. I still get that weird ass feeling when I see people getting like married and having kids. Weird. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, still, how the hell are you doing? We still feel like, young in our heart. It's because yeah. we all grew up together. Yeah, we still yeah. feel young in our heart. But I'm like, I think of like, oopsie daisy. Like, oh, I'm so sorry. But like, they tried. What do you mean oopsie daisy? Because like, we're like, I think, I still think like, I'm like 17 and 18. Yeah. And so I'm like, oopsie. Should have should have worn a contraceptive with that one. That wasn't on did you, purpose. Oh, like, did you announce like they're pregnant? Yeah. That's different. That's different than a proposal. <laughs> did you think oopsie when we got married? No, no, no. Because oh, I was with y'all. Yeah. But they don't. They didn't know it. But they didn't go to high school with us. Yeah. It was right out of high school. We spent all of college together. But I'm saying your high school. I I know what you're saying. Yeah. Like, your high school friends. Like I'm like oh shit like when it's on like I'm on Facebook. Like, and it's like, that's old as hell. I'm like oh shit she's with him with him because sometimes old high school <laughs> people that him. didn't even talk and high school yes they yes. Like yes. Up. I'm like Murray. wait yes. whoa whoa he was like the high school quarterback and she was I don't know in what the theater. she's a theater, theater. yes yeah, she was a theater girl oh, and shit. they have like a, that happened in my high school recently this guy that I hung out with in high school like he was like a football player like a center in football and he he's married and has a kid with this girl that like we knew she existed. Existed, but like no one like that no one had interactions hey, with her. No, yeah, it's Bro, strange. That's one thing. That's one thing. The, it's the kids that weren't in the limelight that end up being sexy as hell, smart as hell. That's me, brother. Stuff like that. Like still in the limelight. I was not in the. What do y'all think I was like in high school? Uh, starting basketball, okay, well, puss slayer. School, think about <laughs> okay. how many light skinned biracial kids there were. There and, was, we were one your, of five in each of our yeah, schools. There wasn't Literally. many light skinned girls. Yeah, in we my weren't age. cute until we got to college. No, I was. Us. I was the ugly girl. Like no, yes. I, don't, I don't even know if yes. I'm gonna say this. On okay. Here, no, let me, let me, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. But y'all thought y'all thought that I was the popular kid in high school. I you you popular. you definitely you weren't you, you weren't the like you damn sure I don't I, I wouldn't like if consider I you, you freshman year of college I would have thought you were popular hundred yeah. percent like I, I wouldn't deem you as you you're not gonna win prom king but everyone Maybe. everyone knows Peyton there wasn't many tall lights that's what I'm saying everyone high. knows okay, you yeah. but I didn't act like a t like exact like the fine. stereotype Even of like not, bro that was that was me I did not do like anything extraordinary but I was simply tall I was in a lot of things and I was on varsity but you know so me, knows me but you know how I acted I in school you know I was wearing tails that's and fun. like supras exactly like I wasn't cool holy shit that's the tallest kid in the school uh, oh he has supras tails and suspenders and He's I was walking it. around the halls with a skateboard and I didn't know how to skateboard he has a velcro binder <laughs> exactly like I wasn't the cool kid but everyone knew you there's two there's be, there's being the cool kid and, and then there's just people, literally having popularity but yeah. the only reason people knew me is the oh, it was because of basketball, like yeah. when the news would come and exactly. like college, they'd be like, They're there for Peyton, he's like that. Like that but I wasn't tail? cool, like I didn't go to parties yeah. and hang out, bro. I didn't go to, I I literally I might have went parties. to one high school party, like I didn't go to, I didn't any, go to any until like I wasn't allowed. Can't say the same. Yeah, no, yeah, y'all were crazy. I, I wasn't allowed. Yeah, my mom no, knew where I was in high at. School, I wasn't college, yeah. Well, college, Co I was, college, I was loose. Were <laughs> college, I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is it that is that never mind, I'm not gonna get into that. But speaking of the whole marriage and proposal thing, okay. Yeah. I ha I got ridiculed for this. I genuinely would not have a problem if I was dating a girl for a long time and she proposed to me. That's a new thing now. Would you ever propose to a guy? No. Would I that's just that's just my I, opinion. Would I? Yes, but I don't want to. I want someone to do it for me. Yeah. You would I, Ashlyn, you would not get on a knee for a guy. A guy. No, don't lie I for the cameras. No Ashlyn, be no, for real. I would I do I have that in me? Yes, but I no, want you to oh, she's lying. I want okay. You to get on one knee for me. I yes. want that. I'm asking you, Ashlyn. You. I'm asking Ashlyn. You in your real life, you were dating a guy for five years. Ashlyn, you're and he didn't propose down. to you. You would get on one knee and propose. Oh, fuck no. Okay. Exactly. There exactly. We go. Okay. So did that what why? Oh why? God, here we go. I want, Dive I, into I, it. I want to be chosen. I want to be picked by my man. Why can't the guy feel the same I way? I want to be chosen. I choose you in every other way. No. You're proposing to me. You like we're choosing each other. Okay. But okay, but what if I what if I me and you me and you live, we're dating for eight years. Watch it. God, that'd be a nasty relationship. That'd be the dumbest household. So me and you live, we're dating, right? I love you so much, Liv. I don't like this. I love you so much, Liv. Stop winking. I'm so sorry. Uh, we're dating, right? Yep. 
we're, we we've been talking about marriage on a, but I haven't done it. Why wouldn't away. you why wouldn't you get on a knee for me, Liv? Because that's I I feel like through this whole relationship, like I I've been choosing you, choosing you this whole time. I'm not saying that you hasn't you haven't chosen me. Mm. I feel like I my time has come to where it's your time to no, they gonna come for no, me. No, go. Be a man and get out no, all listen, listen, okay. No, I think it's time. Oh. Time out. Time That's out. just how I was raised. Society, society, it's because of society. The man was always supposed to do it. And so yep. as girls, when we grow up, we're taught that a man is going to do that. Now I think society's changing. But yes. at the end of the day, I want my man to get down on one knee. I but... Hey, Why would you if, not want to do that for if your you woman? I, I'm not saying... Okay, time out. I'm not saying I don't want to exactly. do it. But... I have problems with my insecurity. What if I'm like, cause I'll, even if I'm dating a girl for 10 years, why do you like me? And so I want you to show me, get on that knee for me, girl, pop that ring. So you would say yes if a girl proposed to you? Oh my God, I would open up like a book. And first of all, <laughs> I didn't even get their rings until marriage, so that wouldn't even work. But I would buy my man his ring Cameron did not get, get his mine. ring until the day that, we, cause you don't walk, you can't That's walk changing. around with an engagement ring That's changing ring now on. though. That's changing now. Cause he didn't, he did not get, where is it at? He did not get this, I always pick the wrong hand. He did not get this until at that altar, the day of our wedding. And I want my ring before. I want a girl, oh, yeah, I, no, I want to, no, I want the girl to say, Peyton, she takes me to Italy, right? We're on oh, a we're on a nice we're on a nice vineyard, right? She there's 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 grapes, there's grapes for miles. wine, a nice I river. I'm not saying I'm talking about for me. There's grapes, there's wine, a nice river, and a boat. She takes me to all my favorite places. She makes a book, a, a scrapbook of all our favorite memories She's together. Like the Bachelor on ABC. Right exactly, now. and then she and then and then she has a secret camera person hidden in the bushes somewhere. I know exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and then and then she 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 grabs me by my waist and she kisses me in the mouth, and she goes, baby. I love you so much. Thank you for everything you've done. She she pulls up her skirt. She gets you on a knee, on and then she she pulls it up. She and gets on one knee. And she goes, Peyton Stephen Harden, will you marry me? I would cry like a like 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 Timberlake. Cry me a river. You wouldn't cry like that if you proposed to your woman. I would. I, I I'm talking about the I'm talking about the difference. I'm saying why? Yeah, I'm saying why can't that happen for me? It can. It can. It can. You have to make that a boundary in your relationship. Yep. That's oh just a conversation. Oh God, y'all are no fun. <laughs> what do you mean we're no? I'm just saying, like you're. I that just I'm wouldn't make it be known to my okay man. With I me. want now. If my man wanted that, I would be like, okay, so once you propose, I'll set up a proposal for you and you can get your ring too. I would do that. Okay. Oh, so, oh, so, so he has stipulations. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes, wrong. Yes. Why? I want to be chosen. I, you, I, I you want to be chosen too. Well, if your man says the same exact I want to be chosen. I'll choose you, but I want to be chosen first because everybody always quits and leaves on me. So I want to oh, be so chosen. So oh, 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 God. Oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> but, I want to be chosen. <laughs> That was okay. so you, you know, thanks you guys for coming. Okay, I won't take it there. But that's why I want to be chosen. Okay, playing devil's advocate. You're right. Why can the man Okay, why can the man not say the same thing? He can. He can. I, he I, can. I'm I'm playing devil's advocate and I'm supporting my brother P. I'm he being can. genuine. I want a girl to get on a knee for me. I want to be proposed to. Then find you a girl that'll propose to you, Pedro. Yeah, it has you have to say it in a boundary. Okay, but every time I brought it up, it's like that's weird. Okay, then. Like even by my homies, they're like, that's weird. It is weird. I just just hey, think it's about it's how we grew up. I'm going back. I'm going back. I, I got like, on my how I envision you know. everything because you you yeah. we, we go. Oh my god, <laughs> things are <laughs> else. It's <laughs> me up. Um, I was talking about. Oh, I envision this. I envision that. Like you'll say, I've never envisioned myself being a exactly. dad. Like, exactly. Like I have envisioned someone getting down <laughs> on one knee for me. Like that's just what. My life has always looked like, and we, as girls, we imagine that stuff. Did I do a good job? Stuff. You did a great Some job, guys man. imagine like proposing to a good girl shit. and all these things, and some don't until they meet that person, and then they're like, "Oh, I, I want that. I want to do that." Would it be weird if I got on a knee for a girl and I said, "Can you join me?" <laughs> you get on a knee with me. That's a bit strange. That's that's just fu that's weird. No, at you're that both point. down there like that. Yeah, yeah. it's the same thing as standing. You're just on knees. You're just scuffing a knee. Why do we get on a knee for engagement? I don't know. It's like showing them because that they're you're more. Showing him like, yes, this is for you're you. Showing you're showing him. him? No, like, what? It's you should, because like you're showing like, him. I'm, I'm oh, giving, showing I'm showing my, my, what are they? Dominance. My nope. grace is my. So why don't, so women why does, do that why don't they get on a knee too to show that their vow? Yeah. So, some do. No, they don't. No, they're Ashton's they're just crying. talking. Yeah, Ashton's just talking. And they're like, oh my God. Liv, Liv said she blacked out. I did black. I did. I, I, I remember gave, that. I, I gave her a whole. Yeah, you were crying in the bushes. Mm -hmm. You're like, I was fucking hot too. I never got compensated for that work. Just want to put that out there. It was 110 degrees. Yeah, you did. We oh, yeah, yeah, I did eat with y'all. I did we eat with y'all. Yeah, that was fantastic. Man, thank you so much for coming back. Episode 107 of the You Should Know podcast. We absolutely love y'all. 
Merch is out right now. It's the same two exclusive pieces that dropped two weeks ago. This time in extra sizes. We have the same shirt available at 2X to 4X. Yep. And we have the same hoodie available at 2X to 5X. Yep. Go check that out. It's the first link in the description. Everything else, uh, Twitch, Discord, Facebook, the official Facebook, Patreon, it's all linked below. We absolutely love y'all. Confuse the casuals Damn. and get your good karma with this week's code. Leave it on Instagram posts, leave it in Patreon, leave it everywhere, leave it on this video especially. This week's code, SSS from earlier. What are you thinking, P? What is it? Remember you said it? I don't remember what I said. Strong stream syndrome? That's Strong what I'm talking about. Stream <laughs> Let's syndrome. Let's go. SSS. We absolutely love y'all. Thank you for tuning in again. And remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas. Oh and we will see Hello. you next Hello. time. Oh, thanks. I like the game too. Yeah. Okay, no, jail's a horrible option.